so what is a digital store value and what kind of market does it address? What I've done here is I've listed different ways wealthy people try to store value. Uh, gold is, you know, as you all know, is a store value. It's a $9 trillion market, but it's actually been uh, an okay store value. It's essentially compounded at 5% over the last 20 years. Collectible art is actually an even bigger market for store value. Um, and actually more is allocated to art than, than gold in most high net worth families. But gold, uh, art is a $17 trillion market. <clears throat> Real estate's $228 trillion, uh, and it's caggered at 5%. Government bonds, remember, negative interest rate bonds, by definition, have to be a store value because who else would buy bonds to pay the, you know, pay the issuer? Um, that's a $20 trillion market. And of course, there's other collectibles, which is estimated to be $5 trillion. So today, store value is a $280 trillion market. Bitcoin is $200 billion, which means it's, trade, it's valued at less than 0.1% of the digital store value. And the question is, is there a demographic reason this could change? And I will show you why you can see this happening a mile away. I think Bitcoin is going to become a store value. So uh, I'll skip this slide, but just want to show on slide 13 that for the last 100 and uh, since 1875, this is the price appreciation of art using the May Moses uh, price index, which Sotheby's acquired. Art's essentially been a terrible store value because it's caggered at 3%. That's before, that's gross. Storage costs essentially would eat away that return. Art has essentially not appreciated uh, after inflation.